Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back. Greetings, as you can tell, we're on our day off, we're off on our honeymoon. Yep, so we are actually driving to the airport now, we go to the Maldives. <laughs> They've recently just been put on the amber list and we're off away. Yeah, the but insurance won't cover it, but we don't care. Yeah, we're, we're willing to die for our love. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the way to... Cheshire. 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 Or Cheshire. Uh, we are going to go to basically uh, film some pre-wire. Uh, yeah, so something that we've always meant to do for all the videos that we've like wanted to do is try to get a pre-wire installed in there. We've always turned up for a first fix video and you know shown while there's some cables being run in and stuff like that, even got there while cables are sort of pre-running in. But we've never actually been there from the start of a pre-wire and done a project all the way till the end. So we're off to on the edge. We're up very early tomorrow morning. So we're oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah yeah we're up early. What time's early? Oh about like Eight. Eight. Oh, I mean, I go from yeah, seven yeah. to bloody York, so eight o'clock. Eight o'clock's a lion. Well, you're right. So, going there, we're going to drive to the hotel, which is in Wilmslow, uh, and we're going to try and find a charge point on the way. So, again, the hotel has charges, but they're Tesla charges. Mm. Oh. Uh, it's another one of those where we did a little bit of research today and we found out you can get your EV van charged through a Tesla thing, but you got to buy this adapter thing. And yeah, we couldn't tell if it was for the American version or the European version. We should give it a try though today, just to because we used one before that was a home charger. Yeah. So there's a, you know, plug yeah. it in, what's the worst that can happen? But I think we're going to learn from our lessons before and uh, you know we love a bit of food and yeah, we'll they are stop on the way. We'll probably stop on the way and get a little little boost charge, just a little A pick, little pick top me up, me up yeah. yeah so just so we don't have to panic. Those 50 miles, I think it was like 50, 60 miles to empty, that was the sweet spot we were like right now is the pull over point and then you'll be stopped for half an hour and by the time you've gone in and out you won't have noticed anything. So just as we're about to get on the A64, we are at 129 miles while we're in Eco. We knock that off. That's 125, and it's 83 miles into the hotel. So, realistically, we should have got there in this one charge. We're going to be going on the motorway though, and if we want to pick up the speed a little bit, yeah, probably and, want to charge. And mainly just for the fact of the morning, like we don't want to have to wake up an hour early to go find a charge and to sit and let it charge, even if we get to the hotel tonight and we've got a half tank then that's fine really just to let us go about our day tomorrow get back on the motorway on the way home and then we can just sort something out on the way back basically yeah so we'll uh we'll lock it off now we'll film a little bit on the way show you some scenery we'll show you the high point of the m62 scenery <laughs> man the m62 is a fantastic road to drive on it's like my dad what do you mean Oh, that's a beautiful carriageway. I mean, that's oh, a lo lovely, lovely you, drive on there. Yeah, oh. Well, you know, like it's high point the M62, and then they got the house in the middle of it and stuff like that. Can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Proper yeah. thrill, proper thrill. And then, you know. Bye. Go past the famous house. Imagine if you didn't have double glazing. You'd be, you'd be fuming. This is your favourite motorway, Rob. I don't want to see it like that. No, no. What are you doing? That Safety, what are you doing? That match is going to go flying. have uh, learned from our mistakes <laughs> and we are just now pulling into the services for a little quick charge. I can gonna... see the charges just over there. Oh look at that. Look at this. Empty. No one else over here has got an EV. Boom. Yeah. So these are one of my favourite ones to use. Because sometimes they don't charge yet. Sometimes they yeah they're, they're free. Bugs. Look at bug graveyard mate. Ugh. Bug city on there. So happens when you're absolutely rapid. Oh. <laughs> so 
we're obviously going for the CCS charger. Uh, let's see, do I have the app? I do have the app. So it says scan the QR code, so we're just gonna do that. Am I at this services? Yes. We're using the CCS. You've selected that connector. And now we're gonna plug it in. Follow the on-screen instructions to begin. So, connection. Connect to your vehicle. Yeah. Have done. So I give it a bit of a, oh no, there we go. There we go. Initializing. Isolation checks done. Pre-charging. You can hear that it's making kick noise. In. Charging. And charging. Shut and that's back. it. There we go. The future is now. We're flashing. But Lovely. not in public anymore. So from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it. This one, I'll show you, it's actually one of my favorites. So it actually does the percentage where you're at, how long it's doing. So that you can tell how much you're actually gonna end up charging. So we're gonna go inside, grab a bit of scran. Quick cuddle in the back of the van. Quick cuddle and a kiss, and then we'll go back on our way. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, bloody hell, right. Hello. Uh, just unloading stuff on here. Taking, a, taking a load off. Come <laughs> so we've just arrived at our hotel in an undisclosed location just off the M62. So we've got all of our kit and stuff in here. So we're parked in like a car park just away from it. So, but we've got loads of boxes and stuff, which makes it a little bit more inconvenient um, for like storing things. And we've got to start to take it uh, across the road. So instead of doing multiple trips, we've got Meals on wheels. We'll get those down there, and then all we have to do is just put our boxes on here, and then these will all stack up on top of each other. And <coughs> there we go. Two bags on the back, and that's it. We're done. So we're done. That's we're gonna it. knock it off now. Uh, we're gonna take these in and get ourselves settled in, and then go to the pub. Pub lunch. <laughs> pub lunch on at seven o'clock, eight o'clock. By the time we get there, knock it off. Hello again, everybody. Back on an EV vlog, full charge. Afternoon. Afternoon. So we've been and done a full day worth of filming over our project in Audley Edge. I've got my laptop here and uh, just gonna make the journey a little bit more interesting for you, Cam. You ready? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a quiz. We got a name, but have we got a name for the quiz? Um hold on, hold the, 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 the EV quiz. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw you some questions. Uh, I've just got some facts here, but I'm gonna make them into questions for you. So, question numero uno. When were, was the first electric car invented? Do I get any, do I get like ABC? Would you like a, a multiple I'd like, choice? I'd like ABC, yeah, because so, I'm miles off probably. Is it the 1800s, the 1900s, or the 2000s? 1900s. No, that's wrong. No way! So the very first production production. production electric car was built in 1884 by an English inventor, Thomas Parker. He was responsible for the range of innovations throughout the UK, including the electrification of the London Underground. 1884? 1884. So that he, is mental this guy to be fair. was making production EV as well. In production. Whoa. Um, and they were like, this, so they were working on the same time, like the underground in London. Uh, yeah. They were working on trams and stuff like that. So I think the car was just another thing on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, by 1897, a fleet of electric taxis has also been introduced into London. I feel like we've gone backwards. So we've, we've clearly got to a point where it's gone, okay, we've got the electric ones, but they don't work so well. So they've stopped production of them for a bit. Possibly. Yeah. So there you go. Right. Way off. Way, you were off. way off. Hundred years. By a, by a I, was, I literally thought it was going to be like 1980s first production, not the 1880s. Is it true or false? Electric cars are no longer silent. True. That is true. Yeah. So, like, obviously, a lot of people were saying the joys of electric cars and stuff like that. Now, uh, you know, you can ride around them nice and silent. But um, as of July 2019. 
the new EU rule meant that electric and hybrid cars are legally required to emit an artificial noise. So, it, it? so when we yeah. slow down, this is purely for cyclists and pedestrians to hear. Um, the noise has to kick in at a speed of 13 miles per hour and below. Right. So when you're slowing down and stuff like that, our van will make this look. It's like a whir, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's completely artificial there, for right. the sake of just having it for other people around us. And can you name me the most popular electric car? It's got to be Tesla, isn't it? No. Any other guesses? A really common one. Nissan Leaf. Yeah. There we Nissan go. <laughs> Leaf is the most popular electric car since. How much do they take you back? So yeah, probably like. You can get one for now less than uh, five thousand pounds, but then the battery. The battery life, yeah, nothing, next yeah. to nothing basically. Um, so the Leaf launched in two thousand and ten. So early, that, ten, yeah. ten year plus electric car and stuff now over 400,000 have been sold wow. it makes it the most popular so um, we've seen a few Nissan electric haven't we yeah so Nissan tells us that the Nissan Leaf drivers have driven their cars over 10 billion kilometers in total I wonder what the range is on them because they're pretty small aren't they like... so they're quite small so I've looked at them and the range in the older ones so if you're looking at the second hand market the uh, battery life won't last year too long uh, it's going to probably set you 90 miles or something yeah. like that. So you run around that you have in your local area and stuff, yeah. probably completely fine. Long distance journeys, forget about it. Mid distance journeys, forget about it. But I think as yeah, I mean, newer well, cars, charge, well, newer know. cars have come about as well, and newer models of the Nissan Leaf have started to be put into production. So I imagine they've extended the battery life on those as well. Yeah. Makes you think, doesn't it? Like uh, you know, an engine car can probably go for like 34 years, no problem. You know, what is the shelf life of an electric vehicle? I don't know. Remains to be seen. That's the whole other argument, isn't it? Basically, oh, they're not, they're not, they're not as, they're not got as much longevity as... As your combustion and stuff like that. But we're talking there strictly on battery and that is used to do everything. But yeah. you don't have to hear, you don't have to take your gar car into the garage on this yeah. one and say, oh, your clutch is gone, right, I need a brand new car. Yeah, on the flip side, you replace the battery and the car's brand new, you know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you've like, replaced battery, brand new car basically. You've got no gearbox to replace, you've got no any other bits of the moving engine that you need to replace or service or anything. Maybe like that's that. a motor. But you've got the that. motor, you've got the battery, and then just the wheels and chassis and Bearings, gen general yeah, yeah, yeah. things for making a car go. But apart from that, you know. All good. It's all good. That's the quiz. So two out of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. take that. I'll it's, take uh, that. it's not bad. It's the top top third of everyone. I'm still shocked by that first electric car 18 yeah. 80, whatever that's mad so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research on the man I yeah. bet you it looks I bet it's like a I bet you know like a horse and carriage I bet you that's what it looks like I mean it just looks like your standard car that you'd imagine back then yeah like it's like a carriage isn't it it's like a horse carriage it's like a pram sort of thing going on we'll put a picture up somewhere camel do it uh, yeah um yeah, want to do some research on a man called Thomas Parker. He was the inventor who pioneered the first electric vehicle. Elon Musk, eat your heart out. Elon Musk, yeah, don't, you shouldn't have called yourself Tesla, you should have called yourself Parker, Parker which doesn't sound as good, <laughs> but whatever. Midpoint of the vlog series, where 12, uh, 1200 miles in and stuff, and Lots of things, oh, you know. A lot of miles, isn't it? We've done a fair few miles. To say we've had it from absolutely nothing, and we've put our miles on it. The Zappy charger is imminent. It's been ordered. It's imminent. So after I said this, get on with it, please. Finally, that was the after 29th of July. Book the date, 8th of 8th of June, at 12 minutes to five. Finally, Rich has done the impossible and sent out an email. No, no, no. Rich, Rich told us he booked it. He booked it. Hopefully, some of the guys from My Energy will come down and we'll have a talk, chat with them. Um, but yeah, have a lovely day. Enjoy the sun if it is sunny, and peace and love.